There are some folks in the Bay Area who came up, came up with ideas that revolutionized our lives and made things a lot easier. More than 50 years ago, a Sarasota resident changed how we use credit cards forever. Eight on your side's Rod Carter joins us live to tell us more about Bay Area inventors who made it big. I love yeah. this story because all the time I'm thinking, who made that? It's fascinating, right? So nearly two mi 200 million people in the United States have one of these bad boys or several of mm -hmm. them credit cards. And before the 1960s, they looked a lot different than they do right now. Well, a man named Ron Clay Klein actually changed all of that forever. He's just one person who altered the way we do things completely with one single thought, one invention. The Bay Area is known for great inventors. I love coming home here. I love it. Sarah Blakely of Clearwater shaped the future of women's lives as the creator of Spanx, an idea born 20 years ago. And now, every time someone swipes a credit card to pay for a pair of those Spanx, the biggest mistake is not to simplify it. You have this man to thank for making that purchase easier. Sarasota's Ron Klein created the magnetic strip on the back of cards and the electronic system that goes along with it. Before his invention, the numbers were checked manually. Right around that time, reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders came out. And I said, I know how that works. If I could take a little piece of that tape, record the account number on it, build a little device that mimicked the tape recorder, a reader, okay, paste that little piece of tape on the back of the plastic credit card and make you the motor. And the modern day credit card was born. Klein is known as the grandfather of possibilities. He also developed computerized systems for real estate multiple listing services. Welcome to Bank of America. The telephone voice response system for the banking industry and the bond quotation and trade information system for the New York Stock Exchange. And he is not done. I'm still not empty. I'm still developing now. It's, it's all about sales. Wayne Rassiden is with the Tampa Bay Inventors Council. Hitting it big is really a matter of need. A lot of inventors are, are trying to do something, something creative that can help other people. And he's doing that with Decatext. It's a small keyboard type device that he invented that would replace the traditional keyboard that we use now. It's a rough road to success. One, you need to come up with the next big thing before the market sees it as the next big thing. And I once you do, it does not control. stop there, so like that, Ron Klein. Not the normal QR code, it's highly specialized. His new project is a voice app he hopes will revolutionize life for the sight impaired. He offers this advice to all budding inventors. You have to be smart, daring, and different. You do. And of course, credit cards have changed a great deal, although there are still magnet, magnet, magnetic, easy for me to say, strips on the back of those cards. There are, of course, the chips that are on the front of the card. Ask Mr. Klein about that. Not such a big fan of those chips, though. You know what I'm curious about is every time he uses the credit card that has a strip, does he think, I, I made that? I did I that. I did that. You know, it's funny. I asked him that very same question, and he told me this real quick story about his wife, how they go to the store, and they'll go buy something, and they're like, is that going to be credit card? She's like, no, we're going to use cash. And it's like, why? And it's like, well, my husband created that whole strip Well, because we have plenty <laughs> exactly. because my husband There's invented that. that. But he doesn't. He's not, he just uses cash whenever he goes. That's very cool. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Rod.